If you are having someone in your business respond to Google reviews, you should stop immediately and consider using AI to do the same thing and then alert you to tell you what it wrote. In this video, that's what we're going to be discussing is how to have ChatGPT reply to your Google reviews using a simple, very, very simple automation inside of Zapier. So if that's of interest, stick around because that's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I am the owner at Boolean and Boolean Automation. Boolean is a review software that is specifically designed for home service businesses. That is phenomenal as far as the conversion rate of getting customers to leave reviews based on the number of projects that you complete. So uh, regardless of the software that you're using currently, if you want to see what makes Boolean different, you can check that out. What I want to show you in this video is something that you can apply to any review software that you're using. This is just a feature that will allow you to much more quickly reply to Google reviews using AI and you won't have to have people in your business be replying to the reviews in the future. So let's get into this. We're going to walk step by step how to set up the Zap and to use Zapier and ChatGPT to reply to Google business profile reviews in this video. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go into Zapier and we're going to create a new Zap. And in this one, I'm going to say, when a Google review comes in through Google Business Profile, I want to draft a response to the review with chat GPT and then post the response to the review in Google Business. And we're gonna click Generate. And so here's the steps um, and we're going to go ahead and try that. So this is going to be the one that ultimately we use. The first thing here is we have to connect to our Google business account. So you're going to want to connect to the account that has access to the Google business page that you're wanting to use. Um, you would choose the location and I'm going to do these, this Albright one, continue. And now we're going to test the trigger and see if we can get a new review. So we got one here, Sam Shapiro, um, and we're going to go ahead and use that. And then and for the chat GPT, go ahead and connect the chat GPT interface uh, that you're going or the account that you're going to use. And then here it's going to say, thank you for your review and then display username. We appreciate your feedback and are glad to hear that you had a positive experience with us. This is what Zapier filled out by default and we can choose which model uh, we want to use. I'm going to go with chat GPT four and the memory key. We won't need to do that. The username this is the name of the user sending a message to the assistant. So we're going to say this is going to be Albright Painting and the assistant name. And I think that's fine. Leave it assistant. Instructions to the assistant. Feel free to experiment. So we want to say that the message here is going to be, I said, our business gets Google reviews from clients and we would like to draft a response. I put in some additional information that might be helpful when it's drafting a response. And I said the name of the reviewer, the rating from one to five, when it was created and the comment left by the reviewer. And then I also said, if it's a four or five, please keep it short and sweet. No more than two sentences. If it's a negative review, a one through three, please have a response come from the owner of the business and increase the professionalism of the response to make it clear this is a big deal to us and we're going to look into the manner. Um, and then the last thing is please have the output contain nothing other than the actual message that we'll post. So that's how I'm phrasing the prompt. We're going to use chat GPT four and then with no need for a memory key, the username will be Albright. The rest of this I think is fine. Max tokens 250, temperature one. This is higher values like 0.8 will make the output more random while lower values will make it more focused and deterministic. So we're good there. We're gonna go ahead and test this, test this step. And the output is, here's the output. Hi, Sam. Uh, thanks for your glowing review and recommendation. We're thrilled to hear you're satisfied with Bobby Raymond and the rest of the Albright painting teams, hard work. We look forward to working with you again in the future. So that's a pretty fantastic response in my opinion. The other thing we can do is go back and we can try a different review now. So this one was another five star. Albright is great. This is a wonderful, this is the third job they've done for us each time. So let's feed this one in and see what it says for that one. So we're going to continue with that. Go to chat GPT and we'll test this again. 
And the response is, hello, James, we're thrilled to hear that you had a great experience with us. Thank you for choosing Albright three times. We appreciate your trust and loyalty. That's awesome. I think the one adjustment I would make to this is the, we're going to change this to some notes on how to reply. And then we're going to put these in here. And so as you can see, we can play around with this a little bit. If I continue and try this, we'll retest. And the response is, thank you, James. We're thrilled to hear about your positive experience with Albright painting. And that looks pretty good to me. So then on the final step here, we're going to connect the um, account, which is that one is correct. And then the review name would need to be the review name from the previous step. And that is the reply that we would want. So we're creating the reply. That's good. Continue, continue. Okay. So now to test this, let's go look on the front end of the site. So this one was from, let's see if this is actually a recent review or not. Let's sort by newest. So we have Sam and James deck. So let's go back and we're going to have it generate one more retest. Thank you, James. It's always a pleasure working with you. Looking forward to the fourth job and the this one is going to be test step. And if we go back to here and refresh, we should be able to see. There it is. Thank you, James. It's always a pleasure working with you. Looking forward to the fourth job. And then if we go back to this other one, just to try another example, let's see how it goes or how it does with the negative reviews. If we can find a negative, is it going to pull in any other ones? So it looks like it's not. For that, what I'd like to see is let's just go find a bad review that someone would have left. So we go back to here and we're going to just test this out. So we're going to say it's a one star. So I'm going to manually put this information in and see um, what it comes up with. So on this step here, instead of having it pull the dynamic variables, we're just going to actually put in what they said. So here's the comment and there's the comment. And then the rating we're going to say is a one. And let's see what it says. So we'll continue and test step. And the response is, Dear Kevin, I'm Josh Abramson, the owner of Albright Painting. I want to sincerely apologize for the experience you've had, as it certainly does not align with our mission to provide the highest standard of professionalism. Take matters very seriously. I want to assure you that concern is being addressed immediately. Please contact me directly at your earliest convenience so I can personally resolve the issue to your satisfaction. Um, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty awesome. So I'm satisfied with that. The one thing would be, this is just my own opinion, but I'm a big fan of not apologizing until we know like if there is something for us to. So when replying to negative reviews, please do not apologize since we don't know if it is our fault yet and instead make statements about the standards we hold ourselves to. And so I wonder what it's going to do with that. And we'll try that. I'm the owner. I want to personally address your concerns. We uphold our high standards of professionalism. Feedback indicates an unexpected deviation from these standards. We give utmost importance to every client. I want to assure you we will thoroughly investigate the matter. The incident you described does not reflect the standards we aspire. I can be reached directly at... And then that's, that's interesting. So it's going to say the contact information. So we're going to say the owner and the contact number is, let's say, we'll put in the phone number here. And again, if this was your business, you could choose if you wanted to put in your actual cell phone. Um, but that's just going to be the main line there. So let's go ahead and look one more time, retest this. And there it is, has the cell phone number. Um, so uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I would say the only thing we have to do now is just revert this back to this would be the comment that we have here. And then the stars would be the rating and any other notes that you see, you can continue to revise this. The last thing I would say is if you want, you could add in another step here. That would be like a Slack message to alert someone in like a Slack channel. And you could also send an email that would be just an alert of like, 
you know, here, a review just came in. Here's the reply that we gave just so that it would be easy for someone to be aware that this happened. But I'm not going to go into that in this video. Let me know if there's anything else. Uh, what like what else would you do in this to make this better? Because I think that there's a ton of potential here for chat GPT to do this. So yeah, this is pretty cool. New review comes in and within minutes, a response is generated. So pretty cool. Leave in the comments, what other improvements would you make to this? And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. If this was a value, please like the video. If you have other ideas on ways that we could improve this zap, put that down in the comments. What else are you using AI for? And how could you customize the prompt for ChatGPT to provide the best reply to the customer as possible? I'd love to see what you guys are doing and what you guys think. Thanks again. If you're a painter, consider subscribing. You can also find links below to book a time with me or our team. Stay out there, keep working, keep painting. This is Chris with Boolean, where we free you up to do what you love.